Good morning, folks. Larry Miles here in Lola, Kentucky. This is a devotion called In Him We Have Redemption Through His Blood from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 to 10. It's in my series on Thoughts from Ephesians. You can go to my blog, larryslines.com, and you can see the printed text for the devotions. There's about 38 of them, I think. And we just started doing this videos now. We did some on Facebook Live. This one here is not live, and I'll probably see how it goes, and then I'll upload it to YouTube so that more folks can watch it than are my friends on Facebook. But Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 to 10, the Apostle Paul writes to us, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, which he made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure which he purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of fullness of the times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth in him. There are many reasons why Christians should praise God. One reason is for the work of the Son of God in redemption. Ephesians 7, verse 1, 7 to 10, Paul expresses his praise for the great redemption through the Lord Jesus Christ. We all need forgiveness for our sins. All of us are in spiritual bondage and imprisonment, whether we know it or not. Paul wrote in Colossians 1, 13 and 14, he has rescued us from the domain of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. We have redemption, the forgiveness of sins, in him. Most of us, I'm quite sure, prefer light to darkness. Without Jesus, all of us are in darkness. We may not have known it, but we are in the kingdom of Satan. Our Heavenly Father desires that we all come to a saving knowledge and has provided the means through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We're glad that we can share in this inheritance he has for us, Colossians 1 and verse 12. The Word of God describes this transformation as changing kingdoms. We've been brought out of the darkness into the marvelous light of the gospel. The terminology used by Paul here is a military term, it pictures Rome going into a free country, result of waging war and winning. They subdue the nation and take them into captivity. But in the spiritual realm, we are the ones in bondage. And when we accept the Lord Jesus Christ and obey the gospel, we are transferred or conveyed, depending on what version you have, into the kingdom of the light of the gospel. But it doesn't end there, folks. Paul tells the Galatians that we were brought, bought with a price. Galatians 3 and verse 13. Our freedom cost Jesus his life. What should be our response to that? We should pour out our hearts in praise. We should love him greatly because of what he did for us. The psalmist says in Psalm 130 verse 3 to 4, Lord, if you keep a, if you get the record of our sins, who, O oh Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness, according to the New Living Translation. Jesus lavished grace on us. We sing a song, Oh, the love that drew salvation's plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God did span at Calvary. It's truly amazing grace. We do not have the words to express his grace. Since we have redemption, forgiveness of our sins, Colossians 1 and verse 14, we must put our newfound faith into the test. We've been called out of a dark kingdom, changed by the light of the gospel, and now have the privilege to go back into that kingdom, now empowered by the Holy Spirit, and utilizing the whole armor of God, Ephesians 6, 10 to 20, 20 to help others find their way out. We can never work our way to heaven, but upon salvation we are to be the best workers the Lord has. 
must be found letting our light shine for Jesus. 1 Peter 2 and verse 10. Thanks for watching this. I'm going to go later today probably and edit this a little bit and then I'll upload it to YouTube and then I'll send out, I'll put on my Facebook page a link to that. We'll see how that does. Thanks a lot, folks, for watching this. Keep us in prayer as we seek to serve him day by day.